find the coordinates of the point of intersection of uh, the equation with this is the equation of a line y is equal to 4x minus 2 with a circle having this equation so uh, hopefully you know this is an equation of a line with a gradient of 4 and a y-intercept of negative 2 and this is a circle with center 0 0 and a radius of 5 so this is not to use graph we have to use algebra to solve this so so you want to find where this circle so basically you've got a circle and a line a circle and a line can either intersect at two points or intersect at one point or will not intersect so if they're intersecting uh, what we can do is we can in place of y we can put this so let us write the equation of a circle first so the equation of a circle is x squared plus y squared is equal to 25 so in place of y I can put 4x minus 2 so this equation changes to x squared plus 4x minus 2 squared is equal to 25 so now you have to do a bit of algebra expand this simplify it make it quadratic and solve it so you can pause this video and try to expand and solve uh, expand simplify so expanding this I would always write like this not to do mistakes so this is 4x minus 2 times 4x minus 2 is equal to 25 so this becomes x squared plus 4x times 4x is 16x squared. Then 4x times negative 2 is negative 8x. Negative 2 times 4x is negative 8x. So that is negative 16x. And negative 2 times negative 2 is 4 is equal to 25. So let's simplify this first. You can simplify this. So let me change color. So this is 17x squared minus 16x plus 4. I'm also going to take away 25 from both sides. Minus 25 is equal to 25 minus 25. So now this has become 17x squared minus 16x minus 4 take away 25 is minus 21 is equal to 0. Now you can solve by either using, if you are not allowed a calculator, you can use quadratic formula or if you are allowed a calculator, use a calculator, a graphic calculator to go to menu first, sorry, go to equation, okay, exit out of it, polynomial second degree okay so under a so this is 17 so under a uh, under a you enter let me put it oops yeah that's right so 17 and then you got minus 16 and then you got minus 21 So these are the x coordinates. Okay, so this is 1.68 in 2dp. Okay, so one x coordinate. So you can say x x1 is 1.68 in 2dp, and x2. What's x2? Is 0. Point, minus 0. Point, uh, 7, 4. Am I right? Minus 0 0.74. And to find the y coordinate, you have to either substitute here or here. So it is better to substitute here. So y1 is from x1 and y2 is from x2. So let me use my calculator. So using this equation, it is 4 times 1.68. Uh, minus 2 which is 4.72 so the y coordinate should be 4.72 when x 
x coordinate is 1.68, the y coordinate is 4.72. And to find the second coordinate, the same 4 times negative 0 0.74, take away 2, is minus 0 0.96, minus, sorry, minus 4.96. So what we are saying is this coordinate is probably, this is your x, x2, y2, and this is your x1, y1, whichever way you say it doesn't matter, x1, y1.